Hey y'all, welcome back to another estrogen release video. I'm Asia and in today's video I'm giving you guys a chitty chat as well as a snippet of my skincare routine. I do get questions from time to time about the products that I use or what I do for my skin and although I think that skin really relies on your genetics, I do feel that products are fun and important and I'm going to share with you guys my go-to's that make me shine. First, I'm going to dampen my skin because I'm exfoliating today. I have to exfoliate. I should be exfoliated twice a week, but I only usually do it once a week because I'm a busy girly. But yeah. And I'm using Glow by Mini Mo. Uh, it's their turmeric face scrub. And y'all, this has been in my routine for like years. I swear by this stuff. As you can see, I have hyperpigmentation um, from time to time when I get acne. And so this is kind of like the first thing on the list whenever I have a really, really bad mark on my face. So let's get started. And I'm running low. So let's start off with the summer. Actually, I realized I don't have a mirror. So let me go get one of those. So let's start off with the summer. Um, minus the heat. Just that sun. <laughs> the summer has been going well. I'm enjoying myself. I'm experiencing a lot of new, fresh experiences. And so that's always exciting. I've been kind of all over the place, like just hanging out with my family and my friends. But I think I'm maintaining and I'm managing pretty well. I want to call this period in my life a transition period. A lot of things have changed and I have a lot of things on my plate going on, trying to plan, coordinate, and execute. But I'm still trying to remind myself to enjoy the little moments because you do all this planning and coordinating and then when you're in that activity or whatever you plan and you're still worried about the next thing, it's like, dang, well, am I really enjoying myself or I'm just constantly in a state of worrying? So I'm just basically trying to just stay calm and like I said, enjoy the moment. Probably not a cute face that I'm doing when I'm putting this on my face. Like, <laughs> but I gotta get it all on there. And on the spots that I have a little, like the mark is a little bit darker, kind of laid on a little bit thicker than the other areas but you want to do an even layer everywhere but y'all all in all I've come to the conclusion that I basically just want to eat sleep and travel and of course I have other things on my list that I want to do with my life but those are definitely my top three I just it brings so much enjoyment is that a word mm -hmm. enjoyment to my life doing those things um, and I, maybe not so much sleeping I mean I do love to sleep but definitely just going out and just experiencing new environments and new places and new plates food things like that is just really just fun for me it's it's fun I don't really know how else to explain it but I enjoy it and I want to do more of it hey Siri set a timer for 15 minutes 15 minutes starting now um, and like I said earlier, I've been doing a lot of new things, new experiences, so I've been enjoying documenting all that stuff, so hopefully I have some fun videos coming up for you guys in the future. But I'm even more excited to document the next upcoming months because um, I'm going out of the country for the first time, I'm going on a vacation, so I'm really excited for that, I'm looking forward to that. And I mean, it's just a lot of things going on. I basically feel like the summer is already gone because it's just, that's how everything's kind of playing and just kind of flowing that way. But for the mo I look really crazy. Yeah, um, but I am very, very excited to kind of just enjoy life enjoy like i said uh experiences that i haven't tried out before and just really getting back to just having fun and i'm just really thankful to be in a place in my life where i can treat myself to more things and more experiences um i don't take it for granted you know there were years when i could not afford this type of stuff so i'm really really thankful that I'm, I'm moving more and more into the direction that I envisioned when it comes to uh, living. But yeah, I'm just really, really excited to share, you know, 
to document it because again a lot of this stuff even though I enjoy doing YouTube it's really also kind of fun for me to kind of have that documented so I can go back and look at it and say wow you know those were good times and so yeah I'm just really really excited for the next few months and for my channel I'm also excited to work on more segments I think I've already talked about this in a past video but I really want to get more of my friends in these chit chats these talking point videos because I just really love hearing people's perspectives and I just love engaging in conversations so yeah I'm really looking forward to doing that it's a step-by-step -step scheduling the the equipment I really want to continue to make better quality videos so that takes time and budgeting and I'm just really you know just taking it step by step but I'm excited again I keep using the word excited but I'm really I think I'm in a good space um oh yeah that's what I really wanted to talk about as well on this video is that I I want to say a few months back I did a social well it was not really a social experiment but it was a I guess a social media experiment where I was trying to lock in what is the best time and the best day to post for my content my channel and you know it just it just proved to me that there's no secret formula there's no method you just kind of have to continue to post and just pray that something hits but let me just break down to to you guys what I did for this experiment so the first week I had all this content from Instagram kind of just sitting there so I was like you know what let me just turn this into YouTube shorts YouTube shorts is supposed to be something that YouTube is investing in because they want to you know capitalize on um, small time or short time or short frame I forgot the the terminology for short length videos I guess you can say um so I was like you know what maybe this will help me get a little bit more engagement so the first week I posted at this at different times between Monday and Friday because I wanted to see what would be my best time to post once I got my time which was 12 o'clock I was like alright cool next week I'm gonna post at the same time Monday through Friday to figure out what's my best day so every day Monday through Friday I posted at noon to figure out what was my best day cool came out that Tuesday at noon was my best day that following week y'all me just trying to you know use a little bit of method methodology methodology right methodology 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 just trying to work the you know work the method y'all the video flopped <laughs> I mean it just the worst engagement from the past two weeks like probably the least amount of views for the last three weeks like out of that whole shebang that was probably the worst like video like the performance wise and granted I mean basically that's just telling me that my content sucks and um, I'm okay with that um, because I'm still trying to, you know, figure out new ideas and things that are fun, that I think are fun and exciting and things that I want to watch. And that's what I try to, to do with my channel and my content. But it's just, it's, it's no, it's no secret formula. It's no, it kind of just reiterated the idea that I have to continue to post for me and post what I enjoy, um, things that I love doing and you know maintaining the love of creating because if I, if I depend on views and engagement I mean I might as well just wrap everything up you know and that has come <laughs> into conversation many of times but um, I do enjoy it so I'm just trying to stay in that space um, and power to all you know all the power to the social media managers who think they unlock the secret formula or whatever cool you know but I'm pushing more on the side that it's no formula it's no method that's going to capitalize your engagement the main thing is it, when it's your time it's your time and if it's not your time then <laughs> You know, you gotta figure out what else, you know, keeps you going and, you know, makes you, keeps you locked in to, you know, whatever you do creatively. So, yeah, I mean, uh, I feel like it's kind of like a, I want to say a sad uh, awakening. Oh, she cried. But it's just like, it, it is what it is. I know a lot of people hate that phrase, but truly it is what it is.
Plus, the freaking algorithms are so botched. Like, I mean, YouTube, you used to be able to type into YouTube what you want to learn that day, and it will bring you up the specific video about specific things. It doesn't bring up the specific thing that I asked for. It brings up what it thinks that I'm looking for, which is really, really weird to me. Um, like, if I'm looking for a video um, that I watched two, three years ago, it's like, I wanna say almost impossible to find it, but it feels low key a little impossible to find it. Like I have to really search for it. And usually I just go to Google and that gives me a quicker result, but it's just been really, really insane to see the transformation of YouTube in that way. And then even Instagram, y'all, like my explore page right now is legit Mariska Hargitay, stuff about Pisces and dark humor. Like, dang, Instagram, is that who I am? Is that is that my personality right now? Like, I don't know, switch it up. Don't put me in a box. Like, I wanna see everything. I don't wanna see what you think I wanna see. But on a lighter note, um, actually, you know what? Let me let this sit for a little bit because because I want to finish this video and I want to make sure you guys see the full shebang and I just feel like I always kind of like I don't show you the full routine so let me let this sit and then I'll come back okay so now that the 15 minutes is over I'm going to take my little scrubby and kind of just scrub my skin now this may be a little abrasive for some people's skin so if you have super sensitive skin try not to do this step i mean i don't know what exfoliation looks for looks like for people with sensitive skin but i know for me i love this step because it kind of just your skin feels so smooth after this step I just love it and on top of that sometimes I have oily skin so sometimes my pore gets pores gets a little clogged so I feel like with the exfoliator and the scrub it kind of just drives out all that dirt and dump uh, right now I put a lot on so Ooh, hot water should do warm water not hot water fudge did I get a thumbnail oh well hopefully I could get one of those like the joys of being a youtuber but I'm gonna scrub this off and then we'll move on to the next step so I just wiped off the rest of the exfoliator. Um, I might look a little red. I don't know how it's gonna pick up in the camera, but that is normal for my skin. And again, you know, it can be a little abrasive for some folks, but for me, it's what I need. It's what I need. Another go-to product is my rose water every day, morning and night. This makes me feel so, so, so refreshed. Definitely gonna spray that in real quick. And I go a little hard. You see that? I look like I've been running a marathon. <laughs> Come on and run with me. Okay, so once that kind of dries up a little bit, not completely dry, I like to go in with my vitamin C again, go-to product. Um, this is from, do I have something? Like that? This is also from Minimo um, every day, literally, morning and at night, actually. Love vitamin C, truly felt like this made a difference in my skin. <laughs> And then for my moisture, I'm going to use um, Radiant, which is a skin brightening moisturizer. It's also by my <laughs> by Minimo. Clearly, I love this brand. Uh, oh, that's good. Mm, my skin is already kind of like glowing. Like to kind of like massage it in. I might be going a little rough for some people's liking. I'm sorry about that. I'm not a skincare guru. I just do what works for me. But I try to just moisturize. I mean, excuse me, rub that in, massage it in. Make sure I'm getting all the areas, baby. All the areas. After I know it might seem like a lot to some folks, but again, this just makes me it's like taking the extra step. I like to do a little bit of facial oil. I'm gonna do two squirts of that. Actually, let's do three. I'm gonna do three squirts of that. And I like to lock it in after a moisturizer, especially after I do an abrasive treatment because it just, it just adds that last little bit of moisture and rejuvenation to your skin. Again, I don't have any scientific <laughs> proof. I'm not a doctor, skin doctor, but again, this makes my skin just feel like so glowy. I'm gonna put some on my lips too. Oh, and um, this was by Bioma. Um, yeah, also love this brand. Um, to end on a lighter note, uh, I have been watching a lot of amazing documentaries and movies and series. Um, on the documentary side, I've watched Jonestown on Hulu, Perfect Wife on Hulu, Tell Me You Love Me on Netflix. Amazing documentaries, very, very, very interesting stories. For the movies, I watch Bodies, Bodies, Bodies. I watched all of, I think most of Freddy's series. I think I'm missing one, um, but let me just say after two, the first two, 
the series just takes a turn for the worse. Like it's just, it gets dumber and dumber. Um, I do love Freddy vs. Jason, that's iconic, but the ones from like the, after the first two in the 90s, is just hard pass. That's a different video. If y'all want me to get more into that, we, we can talk about that on the side or whatever. Yes, that movie, and then the series I've watched is Baby Reindeer, Little Reindeer. Oh yeah, Baby Reindeer and Under the Bridge. Mm. Just amazing, amazing writing, plot, acting, just really, really, really good stories. Very interesting stories, very heartbreaking stories. Just to watch that kind of just be unfolded in a series format was very, very entertaining and very informative. I always tell people like, this is the shows that like teenagers need to watch. Like people need to know, this is how you get like information about how the world works. But yeah, definitely, definitely enjoy those. I feel like, am I looking too shiny right now? All in all, I want to leave you all with the encouragement of enjoying the little moments, seamlessly trying to make sure that I stay present and uh, not always worry about what's next but just kind of just lock in with my folks and my peoples and just enjoy the moment give yourself grace I know that times are hard and we can be hard on ourselves so continue to you know give yourself some time to transition to, to move on to the next thing and then once you get there kind of get settled give yourself grace and also social media sucks so those are my messages for the day so with that being said thank you for watching if you're watching, please, please, please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next video. Peace. Bye. They're taking a pure electric signal and sculpting it into something of beauty.